Okay, so she's finished and she's in the recovery room. I'm gonna take you back there. Okay. okay. I'm just glad it's over because I know my mom had a lot of stress about having the surgery. That's good. Yeah, it was good. That's my parents. Oh, huh. Huge sigh of relief. Thank God the surgery is over with. Everything is great. I survived. Now I have to make sure something else survived. Okay. I wanted to see how my hair's going to pop up, right? Oh, yeah. I'm going to take it out. Wow. Yeah. How's that? Oh, yeah. look at that. Look at that, That's right? Better with it came right back. Yeah. I mean, look, I feel great now. The surgery is over. I really don't have a lot of pain. I feel really good. But what's going to happen in the next two days? When you're under anesthesia still, yeah. like this, on your system, you're breathing. It's a little bit shallow. Let's see how you do without it. I don't want to breathe shallow. No, you're doing good though. But that's what happens when I feel like dead people. So like you feel it? You're yeah, like, so I felt you missed someone's passing like they were in another country when they died. Yeah. Is that right? Well, uh, my, actually my uncle. My name is JR and I'm from Queens Village, New York. I'm a staff nurse here at North Shore Ambulatory Surgery. Can you wiggle your toe for me? I don't believe in medium because of my uh, religious belief. So, oh, so that's what it is. Was your uncle causing my shallow breathing? <laughs> he didn't want you to feel bad about not being there when he died. Oh. I'm very proud of you. My uncle passed away 15 years ago from lung cancer. Uh, we're really close because my mom used to work as a teacher in the Philippines and he takes care of us when we were growing up. He's the one that feeds us. He's the one makes sure that uh, we get to school. I consider him as a father. Your grandma came forward to so your grandmother and your uncle. Then you know about your daughter. Said she's very beautiful. She has beautiful eyes. She's like. So if you feel like that, they don't know about your daughter. She's got beautiful eyes. That's all they keep saying. I had a goosebump. <laughs> It makes my day really complete, knowing that uh, my uncle is very proud of me. It gives me motivation to like, <laughs> you know, be better myself. Now that I heard that she's really sensing spirit, I want to believe <laughs> that uh, it's real. <laughs> Listen, you gave me a pain medication, I gave you a reading. <laughs>